Hello, this video is going to give you a quick introduction to the benefits of using GENIC devices for RFID tracking. This is different from passive and other active systems you may be familiar with. The system is based on our 2.4 gigahertz device, which is on a based on an IEEE 802.15.4 radio. The same chip is used in the tags, which are illustrated as a T. The same chip is used in the reader routers, which are illustrated as R. And the same chip is used in the coordinator or the gateway in this application. This animation is showing that a tag, which is again the T, pings the reader network. It's picked up by multiple readers. Those readers also act as routers. They wirelessly transmit all of the data through a self-healing network, which runs on GenNet. That self-healing network then transmits the data eventually to a coordinator, which acts as a gateway. The coordinator acts as a gateway by transferring the information to a PC, and so a Java application on the PC can then determine where the tag was found and which reader found that information. Here's a configuration of what a typical system might look like. We want to track material movement from one room to another. We'll see the animation on that shortly. The readers can be in any configuration. It can be an omnidirectional antenna placed in the middle of the room. If it's in the edge of the room, you may want a patch antenna so that you don't accidentally read tags that are outside the room or outside the walls. In this case, we're going to be tracking the movement of tags off of shelves. The dotted red lines show you that all of the readers are based on a wireless network. All you have to do is plug them in, and the network will form itself, and the data will get transmitted over the wireless network, eventually up to the gateway PC, which in this case is located in another room. It's located in room number two. Some of the benefits of using Genic technology, number one, as we mentioned, there are no cables to run. You don't have to pay for installation of these cables. You don't have to worry about the cables breaking off. They are all on a self-healing wireless network. So as you add readers or take away readers, the network will form itself. If a reader breaks, it'll find an alternate path back to the gateway. Bullet item two, it's easy to route signals around obstacles. If a metal object becomes in the way, as you might find in a retail environment, uh, it will be very difficult with a passive system to be able to read that tag. In this case, if a metal object obstacle is inserted in the path, a second reader router can be added at the bottom of the screen, and it routes the information around that obstacle and is still able to locate the tag with the asset. Another benefit, it's easy to create uh, directional reading. As we mentioned, in some cases, you don't want to read from all directions. You can limit that with an, from an RF perspective by buying patch antennas. Any simple 2.4 gigahertz antenna can be used. Patch antennas can give you the right radiation pattern and coverage that you want. Whether you want to increase or decrease the range, it can be easily done. Again, the readers are all on a wireless network, so they're easy to configure. No calibration needs to be done. You can add as many or as few as you require. Even after the installation is completed, it's easy to add additional readers. The Gateway PC is nothing more than the same IC chip, the JN5148, running Gateway software, and it allows the data to be inputted into a PC, uh, and from there you can track it on your asset tracking system. The animation example is going to show the room that we just saw and an asset moving off of a shelf and moving into another doorway, and we're going to be plotting the signal strength from all of the readers. So if we start with the animation, what we can see is that the asset will start to move off of the shelf, and all of the readers, uh, which in this case are R1, 2, and 3, will start to see the intensity increase as the tag moves toward that reader, but when it starts to move away from the reader into another doorway, that signal intensity will greatly decrease, and eventually the gateway PC in the other room sees that the asset has crossed through the threshold. It sees that the signal intensity on R3 is stronger than all of the other readers, and so it determines that the tag must now be in the other room. Again, all the tags are being read through a reader network and transmitted wirelessly over to the gateway PC. The GENIC provides uh, all the reference designs that you need to get started. We even have a reference design for an RFID tag 
very small printed circuit board along with a coin cell battery that lets you get started on your system design. A very small tag, long life on the battery. Hope this video showed you some of the benefits of using RFID technology from Genic.